If you love illustrations, then this video is for you because today I am going to show you how to convert a simple illustration into a beautiful wall hanging. Today we are going to get creative and draw some leaves and line faces. We are going to use some watercolor, paint these leaves in a thin branch. I am not liking the loose watercolor look so I went over it with the acrylic color because I wanted that solid green color. There is no uh, issue with watercolors but acrylic colors make the work easier for me. I am using a black pen which I know has a nice grip and I have a great control over it. Um, I want to outline over the leaves with a one line. I'm not moving my pen exactly over the circumference of the leaves but a little bit here and there. Uh, in the last video, I explained with all the details about how I approach for a drawing with one line art. So I'm not going to repeat it again. I will link the video in the i cards above and also in the description box below. I got a lot of response and positive feedback on that video so if you haven't watched it yet you can go watch it after this video. Many of you guys like this video so tell me in the comments down if you want me to make more such videos. If you are new to this channel, hi there, I am so glad you stopped by and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon, I upload videos on every Friday. The easiest way to draw a one line face is to draw the whole face with pencil first and then take a pen, choose the starting point and trace over the pencil lines without even lifting your pen. After practicing few such pieces, you get an idea about how to approach any particular part of the face or any other drawing. I painted the lips with pink color only to find out how horrible it is looking. So I went over it with a darker shade. I keep changing colors if I'm not satisfied with them. So I like to put a light, lighter layer of the paint uh, at first just to check whether I'm liking it or not. Coming to the next painting, I divided the paper into two parts because I wanted to make two different paintings simultaneously so that I can work on the second painting till the first one dries. It saves a lot of time and patience. If I ever have to wait till the first layer dries, I keep on touching it every other second to check if it is dry yet. So for this one, I am painting random patches one over another as if rocks are placed over each other. But for each consecutive block, I am diluting the paint with some water and sort of creating a transition. I did not change the color or I did not mix any other color to it. I am only adding water and creating a lighter wash. So I made three such blobs and two smaller ones at the top. I am trying to keep the blobs at, as plain as possible but with the watercolors it is leaving behind the shape of my brush strokes and I am trying to even out them by adding more paint or trying to uh, lift the paint from the paper with a thirsty brush. A thirsty brush is nothing but a dry brush since it has no water to it it will help lift some water from the paper and therefore lift some paper with it as well I thought there was a scope of making the second blob a little darker but a little comes a long way so don't overthink these are just random blobs I already began with the second part till the first one dries I used blue in the first one so I thought I should play with some warmer tones now. I am using yellow ochre for the one blob and for the second I mixed a teeny bit of black and red to the yellow ochre to get some uh, something close to this henna color. I added excess water to those colors so I struggled a lot to get rid of those brush strokes but going over it with a second layer helped. The first painting is dry now so I am using a black pen to draw the stems and then adding the leaves. Clearly I have no intentions of making these leaves look realistic or so. 
I am trying to make random shapes on each side suggesting leaves from a side view, thinner leaves suggesting that the half of the leaf is visible and broader one as a whole leaf. These individual shapes doesn't make any sense but when they come together, I mean look at how tender these branches are looking. After getting rid of the brush strokes and letting it dry completely, I am starting to draw over it. I want to keep this one very simple because the uh, two colors are going very well with each other and I want to make those color the statement of the piece. I am drawing three branches, one passing uh, over the other two. I am not making any overlapping leaves because I don't want to complicate it much. I am um, adding uh, sort of veins to each leaves because I think pl the black element in this piece is too thin or uh, it is not highlighted enough with those vibrant browns. This piece has so many dark elements to it that it definitely needs some white and what better than adding some white dots. And do not go overboard with it, I know it's very tempting. Initially, I did not plan on adding white dots to the blue one, but glad I did. I think it gives that wintry, snowy kind of vibes and I love the way it looks. And now I am taking my time to stare at those pieces and think if anything is missing or anything new has to be added or removed. We are almost done with the pieces and wait for the final reveal and thank you so much for watching this video, subscribe to my channel and if you happen to recreate any of this painting, share with me on Instagram, I would love to see your recreations. I will link my Instagram in the description box below and uh, until then take care and see you on next Friday.